time to call the meeting to order. Um, we are audio video recording this meeting. Is there any public comment that we have at this point? Okay, we're just waiting for the official swearing. Uh, as soon as that uh, it's here, we'll start the uh, violation hearing for Center Street. Okay, all that will be uh, testifying in the hearing, if you'll please rise. Uh, do you swear to affirm that the information that you are about to give is true and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Thank you. Of age. The commission has reviewed 
a report from the Northampton Police Department as part of the citywide underage liquor service compliance check on October 29th, 2015. The report alleges that at approximately 5 p.m. on October 29th, a sworn police officer observed an underage female enter the establishment with only her cell phone, a single $20 bill on her person. The female exited. She was carrying a receipt for $10 and a cocktail drink um, with 70 cents tax given to the moniker uh, firing squad. She had the proper change for the beverage and relayed that she was not requested to provide her identification, proving her age at any point during the transaction. The female described as positively identified the above employee later admitted to the violation. The police department's complaint is available in the license, license commission office, City Hall, Main Street, Northampton. They were requested to and entitled to be present in this violation and to be represented by counsel to present cross-examination witnesses to speak with and offer evidence on your behalf. Please be prepared. With all the information you wish to present, should you have any questions, that has to take contact this office. So at this time, we'll hear the statements for the police. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Brian Ledside with the Northampton Police Department. On Thursday, October 29th, the Northampton Police Department, in cooperation with the Northampton Prevention Coalition, conducted a citywide alcohol compliance check. We obtained four volunteers under the age of 21 to attempt to purchase alcohol from 99 licensed establishments in the city. We checked um, seven, all 99, 77, 77 of them were able to be checked, whereas um, several others were closed. Um, one of the volunteers, just after 7 p.m. that night, was observed to enter the green room on Center Street by Officer Laval. She was in there for approximately 10 minutes. When she exited, she had held a receipt for uh, an alcoholic cocktail called the Firing Squad. It was reported to cost $10 and 70 cents in tax. She provided $9.30 of change to Officer Laval, and she described the bartender who served her. Uh, once the compliance check was completed, Officer Laval returned to the green room with the uh, volunteer who identified the employee as Joseph Boisvere of the green room. Um, I'm sorry, were, I didn't catch that. Joseph, what was the last name? It's B-O-I-S-V-E-R-E. -E. They were made aware of the violation. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, we're not contesting the violation. Um, we had uh, a full sit down with uh, the individual that uh, served the drink to the minor. Uh, we have a zero tolerance policy. We've been in the service business with other establishments in this establishment for a long time. We're embarrassed to be here in front of you. Um, it should not have been a subjective decision. In terms of our policy with the service of alcohol, uh, he made the wrong decision. He's a gentleman who's been in the alcohol service trade for quite some time. Um, he's been reprimanded and final notice, and we're we're working through, still working through the situation in terms of what final disposition will be within our establishment. But in terms of the policy review, it's all been done um, once again with everybody. And again, we're not disputing uh, the situation of that. Now. Is there going to be any retraining of, of this individual? That's all I'm concerned yes, about. Yes, there has already been. Uh, it, I wouldn't use the word retraining, but in terms okay. of uh, they've had um, uh, tips training refresher since all of this has That's happened. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, we've, we've had everyone go through, and we've since upgraded um, and are continuing to upgrade what would be a new um, policy book um, regarding um, where there should be nothing subjective, whether someone looks 21 and over or not, we're really pushing for full compliance of ID, ID and folks, unless they really look at, um, you know, substantially over the age of 30. But we have a zero tolerance policy for service and all of our bartenders um, are aware of that policy. And I just 
just can't explain how or why it happened, and he couldn't seem to either. Um, you know, I reviewed footage of the situation on our cameras, and there was an individual, and the ID was, was clearly not checked, and it should have been, and service was made, which shouldn't have been made, so. I appreciate your candor. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. <coughs> um, so I'm going to vote to. Uh, I'll move to close the hearing. Second. All in favor? All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay. Um, so, I'm not aware. Again, this is a, a relatively. The green room has, has uh, only been around for a relatively short period of time. I'm not aware of. I will ask Cindy if there's anything in the record that she's aware of as far as any. No, I didn't bring any history because there is none on any of them. I, I was going to say I'm not I'm not aware of anything. Certainly not since I've been on. Uh, and uh, Brian, I've been on longer than I have. Yeah, no, I've been on anything like this, so uh, there's no, certainly no record. I've only been on um, a short time, a couple of years. So. Um, oh, I, I think I think Brian, you probably know my. My thoughts on this, I, I think the people who, um, licensees who take responsibility mm -hmm. and acknowledge uh, a mistake has been made and take positive, affirmative action to remedy that, mm -hmm. uh, that they should be rewarded in some way. And I always feel that we have to make sure that everyone knows we have the same playing field and that everyone will get the same penalty, but in cases where somebody basically made a first time era and has taken appropriate um, actions, shall we say, to prevent it in the future, um, I'm willing to suspend that uh, first period of time, if, as long as we don't have so a reoccurrence. Go one day, three months? Yes. Okay. I think that would be fine. So would that would be a motion? motion? Yeah, that would be a motion, yes. All right, second. All in favor? So basically it's uh, just, uh, Three month uh, probation or one day suspension. So, all right. Yes. Just, we appreciate uh, you know, the steps you're taking. Yeah, I appreciate appreciate that. And I'm sorry to trouble you with the time involved and in, in having a hearing on this. Okay. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, the written decision will be sent certified mail to the licensee and the ABCC within three business days. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Northampton um, reporting on the uh, annual uh, on-premise alcohol license inspections. We've uh, we've completed. Uh, I can't I get my notes. Sorry. No problem. Completed 59 inspections to date. <coughs> the remaining inspections are still scheduled for December 7th. Um, at, uh, on Wednesday of last week, 21 had passed. We're now up to 29 that passed inspections. None of the problems we're seeing um, are serious and would require um, a lot of work. One of the um, one of the problems we came across may not be resolved simply because the people who need to do the work aren't going to do it until after the first, but we're certainly comfortable with issuing a temporary certificate of occupancy in that place. Yeah, it's the kitchen exhaust vent uh, hood duct shaft and it needs another access door panel for it. It didn't last year and it didn't year, year before. I'm not sure why this year, but the folks who do that aren't available yet. Which establishment is this? Um, I believe it's the Dirty Truth. Um, Cindy would know. Is that who called? Um, I'm not sure. I, you know, I, I'm not, it's one of the ones on Main Street. So it'll be a toast now. If 
that can't be done before the first. You can do a uh, temporary. We, we, you can do a temp. We would act. We would certainly issue a temporary. Sure. It's, it's within our authority, if as long as the uh, establishment is to be occupied safely. So. Okay. Um, the two, uh, the Clarion Hotel is closed, um, and I'm not sure what going forward the process is going to be. But I know that uh, there are demolition contractors who are. I think giving quotes. We haven't seen any permit applications. There is a special permit in place um, that would allow the hotel to be replaced by uh, another office building and then I think another hotel and a restaurant. So I think that's the plans. The, uh, um, the Hinge restaurant is currently closed. We did the license inspection there before they closed in fact i think on the friday before the day they closed and the problems they had some problems they didn't pass but the problems weren't significant and i talked to the leaseholder um, the former license holder and he will he he's intending to um, make the corrections and pass the inspection so that when he can find another tenant, uh, they'll, it'll be ready. They'll be ready to move in. Is that Mr. Hassan? Mr. Hassan, yes. Okay, that's it. Yeah. We'll be done. That's all you got. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. <coughs> you don't mind so, for that, Yeah, I mean, if you have any. Yeah. I know the Clarion is being demolished. And they are renewing their license because they are going, it's a, it's an alcohol, so they are planning on rebuilding mm -hmm. again, so they're re, they renewed mm -hmm. their license for the, and, and for the liquor, but I didn't acquire any other information because they don't have any, they're not going to have a building there. Right. Right. Um, and Hinge, they provided me with um, the insurance today. So they did get insurance. They were state. able to reinstate that. They were able that. to reinstate the insurance, okay. and I have a copy of it somewhere right here. If you want to look at it, um, and he possibly has somebody to buy. So if he wanted to keep the license to be able to include that in the license, in the of course. But they're not planning on reopening until he sells. Good. Okay. So. Um, um, you can vote to approve the ones that have passed and approve that you can issue them a temporary license based on the temporary um, inspection. And then I can follow up with the inspection. I'll make a motion to approve. Uh, the insurance is licensed to all those that have passed. Go ahead. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll also bring a second motion to approve temp the issuance of on the recommendation of the building inspector um, of uh, temporary uh, license for those that haven't passed, um, given the assurance that these are not significant violations. dealt with the hinge situation um, so I, I think we can pass on that but Brian we've got Sura restaurant uh, Cindy could you tell us a little bit more about what's they were before us not so long ago saying they wanted to keep the license right they have not returned a renewal and it's too late now because it has to be signed by November 30th and I got it now returned so I'll just I'll send another letter out for this, but it'll come back and return again. And it's the same for King Street Eats. I mean, spoke with Tully, who is considering 
renewing and possibly selling or opening somewhere else. We haven't decided, but I sent them the renewal and it didn't come back. So, so they're basically both out of luck. I have to have a back sign if I can Right. And I right. did make they, they, they and follow up emails. So. They both appeared before us, I know, in, mm -hmm. in the, the last few months. So they both were well aware and we were aware of their situation. Um, so, uh, again, since they didn't meet the November 30th deadline, um, basically, they're not, get, they not getting it. Yeah, they forfeited. Which is sad because the city moves in the town. They're both wine and malt. Mm -hmm. uh, I was under the impression that they, the city lost out the last uh, meeting that we had on King Street. Because it's an annual wine and malt, but they could always get a seasonal and then convert uh, everything. I got you. So then uh, we vote on uh, that stands the way that is. I'm a four tits or not. I don't think right. we have to. I don't think we have to vote on it. I think that's I mean, it's, it's just a fait. It's a fait accompli. Yeah. They yeah. Sorry, didn't meet the right. licensure okay. requirements. Correct. No so one's right. here to say that there is some incredible extenuating circumstance. And even with that, ABCC would not find that uh, persuasive. Okay. So I think we're on to number eight. Number eight, 2015 renewals. Crest approval to issue a license pending receipt of all appropriate documents. Convict auto entertainment and older lobbying class one car dealer class two and class three car dealerships i certainly make a motion uh cindy is there anything you will want to bring to our attention under these particular <coughs> categories um no there's a special it, it would go on number nine so i can bring that up but no i i'm happy to put the stamps on them and hand them out as a okay so if we make a motion i'll make make a motion to uh, uh approve Cindy's authority to stamp and issue such licenses pending receipt of all appropriate documentation. Second. All in favor? Aye. Number nine, request for name change only for class one car dealership from Burke Whitaker Pontiac Cadillac Motors Corporation to Burke Chevrolet Inc. Brian Burke requested. So you are requesting Information from the Secretary of State for showing. It's it's in a name only. It's only DBA change. Okay. Is there anyone in the audience from? Bert no, Shadow I couldn't or? make it. So I told no, him. Did. Did. Mr. Mr. Oh, you're yeah. here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> name to have any franchise that you don't have a franchise agreement for Excellent. and so we changed over to Chevrolet we gave up the Pontiac Cadillac and GMC truck so okay. it's basically a housekeeping um, paperwork you know uh, that's about it no change so it's just a name change name change no address change the corporation what we do where we operate out of or location or anything yeah. all the paperwork's correct everything's done yeah okay, so I'll make a motion. corporations divisions yeah certifying so I'll make a motion to go ahead and grant uh, the name change I'll second that in favor? Aye. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, sorry. That's right. Uh, number 10, request for change of membership of lodging license to 306. All right. So, LLC, DBA, North Anthem Lodging to Chickpea Kendall, LLC, DBA, North Anthem Lodging. I have the lease here showing that they've actually purchased it and have the right to it. And they did the renewal under the correct name. The new name. So there's been a sale, a transfer of actual transfer of ownership? Yes. <coughs> and Louie has an email in there too. But the building department's already aware of it.
Anybody here from uh, Chicopee Kendall by any chance? Okay. Request uh, number 11, request short term. Wine and Malt, Academy of Music. <coughs> Hello. Hi. A familiar face. <laughs> oh, no, welcome. Um, so these are my originals. Oh, thank you. So we had a, I, I made a clerical error and put in, um, I resubmitted my November dates. So I gave Cindy my new December dates. It's also two applications. It's just different dates and events. Um, the first is December 18th, and it is for a Peter Gabriel tribute band. And the second one is December 22nd, and it is for um, our country Christmas sing-along. This is the third year that they've been with us. And that's all for December. And you're requesting a fee waiver as per usual? Yes, as usual. No, I, I think we're. Okay. I think Allison does a good job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a motion to request short term for <coughs> Academy Music for these two events. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thanks. Number 12, request for short term wine and malt Haymarket uh, Cafe. That event already happened. And I think we didn't allow any suggestions to Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, yes, yes we, we did get that. that so we're all so we can just... Oh, okay. I'll make a motion that we approve <laughs> retroactively. <laughs> uh, second that. All in favor, aye. Aye. Okay, 13, request for shirt term, wine and malt license, Greater Northampton Chamber of Commerce. Have um, like one, two, three, four, five, six events here. So it's going to be a happy new month. Yes. How are you doing? You have one going on now. I've got one starting shortly. in 30 minutes. Yeah. That's right. So this is our 2016 request for our monthly networking events. And mm -hmm. to our knowledge, these are the only places where we'll meet them. They either venues are either out in Northampton or they're being held somewhere where they already have a permit from. Okay. Play. So these are our monthly networking events. We typically expect 75 to 100, maybe 125 or 300 at the Chamber Open House. <laughs> or 600 at the Chamber Open House. Right, <laughs> right, yeah. right, right. Uh, could you just refresh my recollection sure. as far as the training for the servers? At so the, the host for the event, um, they are responsible for the catering including the TIPS certified caterer. Um, that's a requirement? That's a requirement of the host to do that. Seth Myers, who um, he's one of the caterers a lot, and he works with a lot of the TIPS certified folks. Perfect. I don't have any questions. No, I, I was going to say another favorite face that we've yeah. seen many times. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. OK. so. Uh, Make a motion to request uh, all uh, events listed under uh, item number 13 for the Northampton Chamber, the short term uh, wine and malt licenses. You're make, making a request for approval? For approval for all of them, yes. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you very much. You said request, but it's okay. Request. I, hey, well, listen, you yeah. are sick. It's okay. I am sick. My mind is definitely somewhere else. Okay. Me. All right, number 14, request for change of manager for one bar and grill. Wait, go slow, okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Good, good. Sure. sure. I was just going to yeah. say, are you Lauren? I am. I'm going to say Pomponio? It is, correct. Um, well, why don't you don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your your experience in the business? Um, you, I've been one of the owners have been since we started. Okay. Um, been in the industry for about 17 years now. All right. Um, what we're looking to do is we have some changes coming forward, and this is the first step um, in moving forward with that. Okay. And I'm going to ask to the commission in a minute when she finishes doing what she's doing. Uh, just, I've got a side
add note here to add additional auto amuse? Yep. Um, they want to request additional machines, and I didn't get it on the agenda because I didn't have it in time, but it's um, just a couple machines you can look at here. <laughs> yes, I was going to say. Yes, <laughs> ancient. You might say antediluvian. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. Let that distract me from. <laughs> I just wanted to see, make sure we've, we've got the correct fees. Everything. Is there any other documentation, Cindy, that you need um, with this at this point? No, but I'm going to agree about being back if I have something I can cover. I'm pretty sure it's all here. I'll make a motion that uh, we approve the request for change of manager for one bar and grill from Matthew Gibbs to Laura Pomponio. Second? All right, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I also make a second motion that we approve the, the, uh, the new item on the agenda, which was to add additional um, arcade machines. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you Thanks. very much. Thank Take you. Care.